Hi, I'm Kirsty Beacon from Nero Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a full set of nails in acrylic. They're going to be transparent colours. We're going to have glitter and also dried flowers, just to keep it pretty. So I'm going to use the other end of the pinching tool, which has got a cuticle pusher on one side, and then it's also got a blade, cuticle blade. Now this isn't like dead, dead sharp, it's not going to like you know, cut somebody's finger off. It'll just help remove the non-living tissue from the nail. So I'm going to take away the length. I'm going to leave like a mil or half a mil. Why? You're going to say something be prepared to explain it to the idiot in the room. The reason that I leave a tiny little edge is because we're going to sculpt these nails. So when I fit the sculpting form, you will see why I need that. I'm just going to file over the nail to remove the surface shine. You can do that with a block as well. The only thing is you don't quite get round the actual side, so as I sort of show you on this one, it's hard to get right round these sides, so I'm going to do that with a file. So I'm going to wipe over all of the nails with the gel residue wipe off solution just to clean those up. I am going to prep the nails with the nail prep dehydrator. Just going to clean them and it's going to make them ready for the application. Quick question with Kirsty. Why do you sometimes prep them when you've got the forms on and then other times before you put the forms on? With the, with product, this? Yeah. Right. If somebody has got really easy nails to put forms on, I know that I haven't got a mess about with the form. Sometimes they would be, be quite difficult and they're really flat, which Andrews aren't. Um, then I can just swap the form on quite easy. Right. So if I know that I've got really mess about with the form and I'll end up touching the nail, then I'll put, I'll put the product, the prep products on while the form's on. Right. So we're going to put the sculpting forms on. I'm using sculpting forms because everything's going to be transparent. We're using transparent colours. So I want everything to be clear and transparent. You could use a clear tip, but I like to bend the tip and customise it. And when you do that, you get like that white line and I don't want that. So I'm going to use a sculpting form. And the only thing with putting the primer on and the dehydrator on while the form's on is it, it does sometimes seep into the paper backing of the form and it softens the form and makes it not as strong. Going to do a smile line on this nail, but because it's sculpted, I do like to put a thin layer of clear just to create a platform, basically like making a tip. We're going to do a pipe shaped nail, and once I've got this structure laid in, I'll explain a little bit more about the pipe shape. So a pipe shape is, imagine an almond shape, but it's actually got dropped sides. So it's got a really good C curve, but it's, it looks like an almond from the top view. There is a separate video that shows you just how to do a pipe shape. I'm sure that'll appear somewhere on your screen. Now, right now, somewhere. So I'm extending the nail bed. And we're going to do the back here now. And if you wonder why I'm doing it this way, you know, I'm extending the nail bed. Why do we extend the nail bed? We extend the nail bed because it looks far nicer. Short nail beds don't look aesthetically pleasing. Once that's set a little bit, I will pinch that. But I'm going to get my bits and bobs ready. What I'm going to do... Because this design is all going to be transparent, I'm going to mix some transparent colours. Oh, we can pinch this now. I'm just going to pop the pinching tool on this nail while I mix this. So I have some Vivid Violet 
and we've got I think this is wild strawberry I'm going to mix them with clear so taking a clean dry cuticle pusher we're going to use that to put the powders in So we're going to take some Vivid Violet Pop that in And stir that up What you'll need to do is keep testing the colour I'm just going to test that colour by getting a little bead of it. Bit more, bit more violet in there. Mm -hmm. That's that one done. I'm going to do the same with the wild strawberry colour. I think I'm going to add a little bit of red to it as well. So a little bit of primary red. You need to make sure you mix enough for your full set. So we're going to start by encapsulating these little bits and bobs that we've got here and then we'll use the coloured powders. So I'm going to use some crushed shells. So I'm going to pick those up. Oh, I'm going to pick them up with the coloured. I'm going to pick them up with the coloured powder. Let's just go for them. So we're just going to add random pieces you're not filling the nail we just want some random pieces in there with that we're going to put a little bit of cracked ice You only need little pieces. So with these microfibers, I'm just going to cut some of them up. Little tiny pieces. They look like unicorn pubes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting a bit of the transparent colour that we've made, that the one with the purple tones. Put that there. And then with my brush, I'm just going to pick some of the unicorn pubes up and place them into it. Who knew? Who knew unicorns had poo poops? <laughs> pubes. Who knew? Andrea I didn't. Did you know what? Andrea never expected today to be having unicorn pubes. I didn't. Her nails. No, I didn't even know they existed. Using the transparent acrylic that we've made and encapsulating all those little bits of glitter what it'll do is it'll change the color of the glitter slightly as well because you've got the colored acrylic over the top i'm just going to encapsulate all this with clear now while that's pinching going to carry on with the rest and we're going to encapsulate a few other things as well I'm going to do a smile line on this one as well I'm extending the nail bed with natural beige I'll take the 
form of this one. While that's setting, I'm going to move on to this nail. And with this one, I'm just going to take the natural beige and blend this down over the natural nail. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to pinch the other finger. So we're going to use these dried flowers now. I haven't used dried flowers for years because I used to get like the ones that weren't as detailed as this but I actually really like these because they're so detailed. I'm just going to use a little bit of clear to adhere it onto. A little bit of clear powder. For the middle of this flower, I'm going to take a little bit of clear and I'm going to pick up one of these little is that called a hexagon? And then I'm going to go over this flower with the transparent pink that we've made. And I love how it just changes the look of that flower. So it makes it a slightly different colour. I'm going to pop some of the cracked ice mylar. I'm picking this up with the transparent purple that we've made. I don't want to overload it because I want it to still have sections that are transparent. I'm not jam packing it with the mylar. But I'm going to go over the mylar with the transparent purple as well. Then I'm going to encapsulate all of that with clear. So I'm just filing around the smile line, just like I did on the thumb to make that nice and crisp. And then I'm just gonna clean up with some gel res solution. I'm gonna use the purple transparent color. Pop that straight on around the smile line. I'm going to pop some of this purple glitter on top of there and then with the pink, the transparent pink, do the length. <coughs> Just done that quite thin. So I'm going to put some of the showers in there. Just a few of them and some of the stardust and then some tiny pieces of the mylar and I'm gonna put the pink, transparent pink over the top and I'll do the rest of the structure with some clear And then when this one's set a little bit more, I can give that a pinch. Just gonna build a bit of a platform here. So it's connected to the nail. So I'm gonna take the natural beige. And I'm gonna bring this down I want to bring this into a really slim point all the way to the tip. It's easy to do this when it starts to set a little bit more. So in these sections here, these are going to be the transparent areas. So I'm going to put a little bit of the purple there. And I'm going to put a little bit of the cracked mylar.
few pieces of the crushed shells. And then on this side, lay a bit of pink down first. And put some different cracked eyes. Here, quite sparingly. I'm going over this side with the transparent purple. And then a little bit of clear. I'm going to take some of the natural beige now down onto the side of the pinky. So we're creating the design sort of flowing off to the side. I want to cover up the natural nail as well. And then in that portion at the side that's got nothing there, we can add glitter. And also the transparent colour we've mixed. And you can see that the glitter flows from one side of the nail to the other. I'm going to use both colours of the transparent colour that we've mixed. So you've got a transparent pink, you've got your transparent purple. I'm going to encapsulate all that with clear as normal, giving it all structure. And then I'm going to pinch that just to give it more strength. So I'm going to file them all now. I'm going to use the electric file. Ming, 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 ming. So I'm just thinning the nail out slightly, removing any bulk. Because we don't want a big fat nail. But we don't want it to be wafer thin because these nails need to last. Can tidy up the edges a bit as well. And also do a little bit of a free edge with the electric fire. So I've finished all the electric filing and now I'm hand filing this into shape. So you get that nice pipe shape. So you can see the pipe shape has a apex at the back third. It's got a straight side wall. Your free edge scoops up slothly. Slothly. That's really soft because it's slothly. <laughs> <laughs> so it scoops up softly, but from the top view, it looks like an almond nail. Inside, you've got these nice side walls and it's really pinched as well. You can see the pinch. Nice and tight. So I'm going to file all of the nails the same, in exactly the same way as I always do. Side walls first, then I'll do the cuticle, free edge, then over the top. So we're going to buff over now with a white block just to smooth that surface. So now I'm going to wipe over all the nails with acetone just to smooth that out, get rid of any dust. So now those are all filed, I'm going to put mega gloss on them and give them a nice luscious coat of mega gloss to make them all shiny. And then obviously when this goes on, you will see the transparency and you'll see all the little bits of things that we put inside. So now I'm going to make a transparent flower using those transparent colours that we've made already. I'm going to do it in exactly the same way as I would do if I was doing an opaque flower. So we're going to put the beads out, press them out into moon shapes. 
and then we'll pick each petal up. I'm going to put that first petal towards the cuticle and that's going to be the starting point. And then I will use one of them to make a centre and I'll apply the other petals around the centre to create the rest of the flower. And I'll put a little bit of acrylic on the nail to adhere them. So I've just made quite a simple rose. Yeah, because simple is like, that's simple. I think it's quite simple. They're just basic petals and I've, you know, then put them together. You want to see a video that shows you how to create a rose in detail. Check out the link just up there. So I'm going to pick up some stones and apply that into wet acrylic. That's going to hold them tight and make them last longer. So I'm going to place a little bit of acrylic in the middle of the flower and put a little stone in there as well. And then I'm going to put some extra bling on all the other ones because we want them all to be nice and blingy. There you are, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video with the put the put the poo. So there you are, that's the finished look. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, I'm not happy. That's the finished look. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All of the products are in the description box below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and my Snapchat, Kirsty Nails. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. So good job you're here in Titan. Well, apart from we wouldn't have no cameraman, um, <laughs> you can bring me empty pots. Look, we have many empty pots.